Euro 2016 is coming. France is hosting this year's biggest football party of the summer. If you have been watching football for any more than no seconds in your entire goddamn life, then you would know that France is some kind of a place with pretty pretty good footballers. However, this year it is kinda important that they win the whole thing for several particular reasons. I am Eagles and Angel and here are 5 reasons why France will win the Euro 2016. Number 5. It is happening on their own turf. Do you remember the last time when France hosted a major football event that is as big as this one? Well, they won. That was World Cup 1998 where France convincingly defeated Brazil 3-0 in the final with two goals from Zidane and one from Petit to lift up the big gold cup right in their soil. When a country hosts an event like this, they tend to do better than they normally would and this is perfectly normal. After all, when was the last time you saw a host going out in the first round? Well better not mention the first Euro where France also the host finished last. Ha ha ha! Sacre bleu! Regardless, France is a heavy contender for this year's title race and the fact that they are hosting the tournament would give them a huge boost in their quest for Euro domination. Number 4. They have never been better. It is hard to compare today's athletes with those from previous generations. There's more to football than just 20 sweaty dudes all pummel each other just to touch the round thingy with their feet. That's actually what football used to be. But football is constantly changing, new rules being implemented, players ability being enhanced due to advanced diet and training regime and technology, new tactical psychology, technology usage in the modern game. With all that it is difficult to just outright say that today's footballers are better than those from before but if you compare the French squad to others in this tournament, their chance might have never been better. Their two top strikers are facing each other in the final of the Champions League which will also feature Zinedine Zidane. Isn't he a proud bold man? And speaking of Zidane, Paul Pogba is living up to all the hype that he is the next Zinedine Zidane. He's just one headbutt to an Italian away from that. Angelo Conte and Dimitri Payet put up stellar performances in the Premier League and everybody else is just really really solid. Let's see how you top that. Number 3. Their coach is a winner. Didier Deschamps is a good man. He's done a lot of things in his entire career, both as a player and a manager. While playing for Marseille, he won the French Division 1 twice and the Champions League title. While playing for Juventus, he won 3 Serie A, 1 Coppa Italia, 2 Supercoppa Italiana, another Champions League, 1 International Cup, 1 UEFA Super Cup and 1 UEFA Intertoto Cup. And he also won an FA Cup with Chelsea. He also won both a Euro and a World Cup with France. As a manager, he led Monaco to win the Coupe de la Ligue, led Juventus to win the Serie B. Well, that was easy. And while managing Marseille, he won one Ligue 1, two consecutive Trophy de Champion, and three consecutive Coupe de la Ligue. Just face it, the man is a champion. He literally has champ in his name. But one thing that Deschamps hasn't got is a title in the international management level. Maybe that can all change this summer. Number 2. The Paris Attack And there's nothing even funny about this. 2015 was somewhat of a bad year all around. One of the sad things happened was the Paris terrorist attack that happened on November 2015. Yes, they were bombing in several other locations but the one that took place in the feet of the Eiffel Tower attracted the most attention and was for the right reason. On the night of November 13, there was a series of coordinated terrorist attacks occurred in Paris and its northern suburb Saint Denis. 130 people died, 368 others were injured. My condolences to all the victims and their families. If you want to know more about the details of the attack, look it up. I won't go to this because it still brings a tear to my eye every time I think about it. 
The Euro 2016 could have easily been cancelled or relocated just because of this attack. There were multiple meetings featuring the higher ups in the organizing committee just to discuss whether or not France would remain the host or should the role be given to another country. But despite all the dispute, France remained the host. With all the tension regarding national security, everyone involved should show the world that terrorism would not break the spirit of this beautiful game and as the host, it is Le Bleu duty to step up their game and put on the performance of their life. A number one, everyone wants them to win. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm saying this from a neutral point of view, so sit down, like the video and keep watching it, okay? Football is a beautiful game because it is unpredictable. That's why people love football. Unlike somebody, it is the game that anybody can win and miracles happen once every now and then. And we should always expect the unexpected. Sure, Spain and Germany are heavy contenders and they have the most Euro wins with 3 for each, so I don't want to see them win. Normally, we neutral fans would root for the guys that always come up close yet never win the big one, that being the Netherlands. But since there will be no showing this event and we can't really count on England to get the job done, that means we have to put our faith on France. And it's been a while since we last saw them win the big one. With everything being set up, it would be the perfect scenario for France to win it all in Paris. And those are the 5 reasons for France to win the Euro 2016. Do I miss anything? If I did, leave it down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter here. I am Eagles and Angel and I will see you on the next video.